Hello again, old friends. You've been missed. Oh, they're back! I never thought I'd see the day. Spoilers up and coming, so go watch the episode if you haven't already. Another step up from Jodie Whittaker, a series of Jodie's Doctor with this dynamic is exactly what this era needs. Which makes it even more gutting, it's nearly over. The Thasman story was handled really well if you ask me. Everything the Doctor said felt natural and believable while also being satisfying after it being hinted in Eve of the Daleks. Oh, but the sword fight and the way she took on the Sea Devils, yes! Yaz is awesome. She actually is. And her dynamic with Dan makes her more likeable. She's so desperate to prove herself, but I also really like the vulnerability that's showing, and she always says what we're all thinking. Dan is still one of my faves. He's just a delight on the screen, loved his team up with Ying Ki, and thought he made an excellent leader. Even if his plan fell apart rather quickly, it was also nice to see something progress with him and Dai. Yinky was great, although he didn't do as much as some of the other characters, but really enjoyed his performance and glad he got to stay in Madam Ching's crew. Wasn't sure about Madam Ching at first, but I loved her by the end and think she'll go down as one of Doctor Who's most iconic guest characters. Perfectly piratey, but also likeable. Ji Han really fits that old man type of character that's really wise and saves the day at the end, but he's not that old, which I like. He was a little typical wise legend character at times, but I'll let it slide. He was good. Overall, this story was awesome. I wish it was a little longer, but everything that happened in it left me very happy and satisfied. We got a good plot, character arts, awesome setting, stellar music, and even a sword fight. I'm happy. But what about the villains? Was the return worth the wait? It's Villain Rankin. The Sea Devils were brilliant, and now they're back, I hope for many more returns. They were a lot more brutal and had some awesome fight scenes, and I love how they kept the iconic scream from the Sea Devils. Bit gutted how it was mainly just the Chief and we didn't see much of the others, but it's a small nitpick. And it wasn't the Murka, or at least I don't think it was. It's not a massive deal, but it feels like a massive missed opportunity. So out of the four specials, we're putting it second, but only because we've just seen it. And we're not 100% certain it's better than Revolution of the Daleks, but it's very likely this could be the best one in a week's time after a few rewatches. What did you think of the episode? Was it our amazing or should it walk the plank? Let us know in the comments below. So it's hard to believe the next episode is Jodie Whittaker's last. The centenary special is on its way and I have a feeling it's going to be an emotional roller coaster. And from what we've seen so far, ah, oh, it looks so good! Hopefully it's not too long away until we see it. You may have noticed we've been away from the channel recently, but we are planning a massive comeback. We're not ready just yet, but we will be soon. To find out more, check out our community tab. But despite not coming back fully just yet, we're releasing a video tomorrow and keep a lookout for Legend of the Sea Devils quick quiz on our second channel. For more videos like this one, feel free to click that red button down below to join the adventure. We'll be back with another review for the final episode of this era, and we'll be back very soon with weekly content while you wait for it. Until then, I've been Christopher. And I've been Lewis. And you've been... Brilliant! You to know. So are you sitting comfortably? Our tribute to the show is If we had to choose another, we just wouldn't know